welcome back. You're still watching uh, Nile uh, Cruz on uh, Nile TV from the Museum of uh, Mohammed Anwar Assadat, the late president of uh, Egypt. As, uh, of course, we are in the month of October celebrating the October war victory against Israel in 1973, one of the bravest decisions ever taken by an Egyptian president. There is no doubt that the late president Sadat took one of uh, the hardest decisions of uh, the Egyptian modern history, the decision to war against an enemy that was thought to be uh, an invincible enemy, a decision that carried great risks against him as a person, even on October the 6th, as uh, we did see the Egyptian people supporting the Egyptian president and uh, the Egyptian army. We will be speaking about the Egyptian president from the museum of uh, the late president, Muhammad Anwar Assadat, with uh, the historian, Dr. Ahmad Saleh Hatuk, thank you very much for being with us today on uh, Nile Cruise. Thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Uh, I'm, I'm honored. to have you with us on a very special uh, month, October, of course, celebrating um, Egypt's victory. Uh, and uh, first, sir, uh, of course, uh, President Sadat was a man of war and peace. And uh, the most important scenes of, great, uh, of the great October war, from your point of view, of course, and the most important um, history uh, that we remember, or you remember, or Egyptians remember on these very special days, which are victory and glory days in the history of Egypt. Three questions in one question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we were casted by, uh, uh, through the three years after Nath Nasser's death, uh, all the Egyptians and the army I was uh, lieutenant at that time and we were casted by um, uh, a curtain of grief, sorrow, melancholy, sadness and uh, uh, the, through the three years which Sadat run the most deceivable war in the world history because through about 200 kilometers 168 two big armies uh, 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 contemporary armies we with the russian uh, armament the israelis with the american uh, uh, arsenal and there were 100 meters only this is madness never happened in the war hitler attacked germany crossed uh, the manif manifest uh, river hitler between them germany. but uh, there were mm. about 40 kilometers between the two uh, uh, armies in our case it has a genius uh, leader to uh, uh, orchestrate that war by deception. Uh, Nasser used to work uh, uh, for 20 hours and he could be, in my opinion, could be stressed to orchestrate such a, a great deception plan, a great uh, bluffing strategy which said that by the cunning of the countryside a man, Egyptian man, cunning Egyptian uh, peasant uh, farmer. He had that cunning character. Could deceive all the parties. Even uh, I was a commander of a command unit. And we all thought that we are f the only the, the commanders are fighting. Uh, 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 with uh, 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 overall offensive, massive, uh, only the, the commanders, not all the deceiving from King Hussein to tell him that the war is after tomorrow. King Hussein drove, uh, uh, f uh, flew his airplane by himself, went to Israel, and they didn't allow him to land in Tel Aviv, uh, Tel Aviv uh, airport. They brought him a helicopter to transfer him to meet Golda Meir and told her war is after tomorrow. That's part of the deceiving 
plan too. She couldn't believe him. She couldn't believe him. Uh, deceiving uh, an army of 200 kilometers, side by side, we could see each other. 100 meters is about that garden over there, or the end of that corridor. You can see the faces of your enemy, the officers and girls, uh, sergeants, uh, uh, lieutenants, we could see them, and it was a very shocking scenery for us, uh, occupying our land, and uh, 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 girls are driving our, our uh, uh, zeal, uh, big uh, truck, uh, Russian trucks and that stuff, and waving to us. Mm. They used to wave at us, and we're still looking at them like that felt sorrow, sadness, melancholic, grief. Uh, we had all uh, the feelings. We cannot, can we defeat them? Uh, the American arsenal, 100 meters. How could five divisions and 1,100 uh, soldiers uh, at, attack suddenly? Mm. This is a miracle. And uh, I think uh, uh, it's so hard to happen uh, again in the military wars, but Egyptians can, mm -hmm. God willing. A very smart uh, decision and a very hard decision taken by the late President uh, Muhammad Anwar al-Sadat. Um, what are the main scenes from the life of the late President that led to him being very smart and very brave to be taking such a decision in the history of Egypt? Uh, his uh, previous life, mm. uh, he, uh, he was jailed two times. He was an active political activist. He was uh, against the British, and he collaborated with uh, General Aziz al-Masri, with the Germans, uh, to come uh, to let uh, enable uh, uh, Alfred uh, 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 Rommel to come to Egypt to end the... This is his life. He uh, collaborated in the assassination of uh, uh, Nakrashi Basha. He, he was a struggler all his life. And that uh, line of uh, low profile, um, uh, cunning and uh, uh, preparing conspiracies and uh, uh, it gave him that Nasser was a straightforward man, mm -hmm. worked for 20 hours. But he used to have uh, 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 to work a little and to grasp and to think more. That enabled him to uh, uh, orchestrate that strategy of deception and uh, fake news. He ordered that officers can travel to Mecca for pilgrimage. Uh, soldiers were swimming in the canal in the morning at 11 o'clock, three hours before the attack. Uh, 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 soldiers were released many times. It, it's easy for us to let, uh, to make monopolization and to release them. It's very hard for Israel because the electrician in the electricity station uh, will leave his, uh, the milkman, uh, the grocery, uh, everyone, the bus driver will go to the army. Mm. And uh, it will be so difficult for Israel to restore uh, its economic uh, resources and that mm. stuff. It's very, but for us, we are, uh, we were 30 million at that time. Israel was, uh, uh, less than two million, less, with the Arabs who are not involved in the army, uh, 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 the Arab of uh, 48. The point is that he used to make it four times to monopolize the Egyptian army and to release it. The fifth was the war. Mm. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it. Golda Meir had uh, 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 pictures already with the water taken from 
uh, by the uh, uh, American uh, uh, Telestar uh, photos. And she went to at 6 o'clock in the morning with Moshe Dayan, with the, the whole cabinet. They called 6 o'clock. And she showed them the pictures with the water out of the laboratory. This is the Egyptians uh, the, the, uh, in Ismailia Suez, Port Said. Uh, the, uh, the pictures of the bridges, uh, uh, the sand was removed, the, uh, the trees were removed, mm. and those are the bridges at 6 o'clock. Uh, of course, the American satellite photoed those photos in the evening, uh, from two o'clock in the mo in the morning till uh, six o'clock. She had the photos. The Egyptians will cross. Mm. They knew it at six o'clock mm. before. They cannot monopolize everyone. One of my friends, uh, the martyr, great martyr Muhammad Said Abdul Gawad. He attacked one of the buses of the uh, air base uh, Ramon Davi uh, uh, in, in Sinai. Uh, it was named at that mm. uh, time. He, he, he demolished the bus. It was full of the technicians and uh, pilots and that stuff. Mm. Uh, that air base was malfunctioned for half day at least mm. an advantage to the egyptian army yes mm. uh, it means that they gathered their forces starting from six o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. uh, 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 so they uh, had about eight hours to act yes until 2 p.m uh, uh, they cannot gather all mm. the uh, to their to to bring a soldier who works as uh, in uh, uh, a store yes. uh, f for the government. Uh, they had stores mm. uh, like uh, our uh, food stores and that stuff for the uh, government. To come and ride his tank in half a day, mm. it's impossible. That's the, the sensitive nerve Sadat played on. He sent uh, two days before the war uh, Hafez Ismail to speak to Henry Kissinger and to uh, come and to make investigations and uh, uh, talks and that stuff to calm down the sense that we are launching a war. That's mm -hmm. uh, one of the genius things uh, he played and orchestrated. Yes. Uh, sir, of course, we are uh, here at the Museum of Late Presence uh, on Wall Street. Uh, what are the things here in the museum that remind you of the, vic the victory and the war? Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, his photos uh, during the three years before he was wearing an overall and visiting uh, the front. And uh, uh, he, uh, he was very uh, intimate to soldiers and he you talked to me. You mean the relationship between him and the soldiers was very yes. close? Yes, very, very. With his intimacy and sympathy, uh, uh, quantums of energy coming to him, uh, shaking our hands. Uh, we are looking, we are not looking at him, we are looking high in the sky. This is uh, captain, whatever. Y you introduce yourself never to look at him or that's the military mm. uh, way and he could break this and talk and uh, slap me on the shoulder uh, that stuff he was uh, mm. he had that charm mm. sense of humor. Uh, a sense of humor when we were sitting together and he started uh, talking all of us uh, how long have you been here? And we said mm. uh, two or three months uh, without a leave. And, and all of a sudden he says, uh, and without women? <laughs> 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 so all of us, <laughs> he broke uh, the, the feeling he that is he is the one of us. No. He's not the president. He's not away. He's, he was sitting this last three months 
with mm. with us. That's the the charm, and he charmed uh, uh, four presidents: Gerald Ford, Nixon, Carter, uh, Clinton, and uh, Reagan had a meeting in the White House with their wives, yes. and they said we are going to visit the Egyptian uh, uh, to, con to, to forward condolences to the Egyptian people for their Sadat. Mm -hmm. Four presidents came to Egypt with three wives. Mm. I think you have that uh, video and you will broadcast it. Yes. Uh, this is uh, uh, the greatest, how he charmed them. Mm. And ha uh, he was exerting a lot of efforts with the Arabs too. But the point at that time, they were, he was far-sighted. They were short-sighted. Mm. And uh, he had the ability and uh, the sense of humor with uh, everyone and uh, 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 he was a person, uh, 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 Susan, uh, his wife, uh, uh, Jahan uh, Sadat, was a friend to an equal with, the, uh, with her pr uh, Egyptian prestigious identity. She was equal to Mrs. Ford or Mrs. Carter or Mrs. Reagan, Nancy Reagan. They were treating equal to equal. I attended. Mm -hmm one of those dinners and uh, I was surprised the Egypt like America mm. and I was uh, very pleased very proud of that that their uh, uh, characters could fill the international arena mm -hmm. uh, 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 fully mm. yes uh, doctor, you've mentioned the energy of uh, the late President uh, Muhammad Anwar al-Sadat uh, on the battlefield. I would like to know more about the energy of uh, the late President, as you've met him, uh, the energy of the Egyptian army, and the energy of Egypt in general during the time of uh, the war, of the October war. Um, <laughs> I was in the war, and I was in Israel. Mm. I was uh, I attacked and I occupied uh, the Balaim uh, colony of oil, oil and petroleum for a week. And then I, I, uh, I, I became a prisoner of war after being attacked and taken injured. Uh, all my uh, colleagues were uh, martyrs and that stuff. I was in Israel that time. And we all, uh, uh, the first mm. uh, prisoners were pilots and commanders. Mm. We went inside Israel with helicopters and uh, the, the other uh, uh, suicide missions uh, of the pilots who destroyed the air bases inside Sinai. The point is we, s we were surprised that he uh, went uh, in a capade in, uh, uh, in his car, opened car on the 16th <laughs> on the 16th uh, he was uh, 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 marching in the streets of Cairo in a, a convertible car mm. convertible car that's the spirit the war that's the 16th he was going to deliver a speech in the uh, people's assembly but the point you are asking me about the this is the only scenery I can remember, that he was celebrating mm. the attack. At during this, believe it or not, nobody knows. This is a secret I'm telling. We didn't lose uh, too much uh, martyrs. It was later in the uh, gap between uh, Suez and Ismaili, mm. uh, when they uh, penetrated between the third second the army, third army. Mm. Th those are losses. But before that, it was only losses, and losses of what? 4,500 Israeli soldiers. Of course, in the two uh, fronts, but Israel fought for Gilad Shalit 
towards uh, 2010, 2012, for one soldier, for one soldier. Now they had 4,500 uh, uh, dead, 20,000 casualties without an arm, a leg, mm. something like that. Mm. Uh, sir, you mentioned that uh, you uh, were injured and many of your colleagues uh, fell as martyrs. Uh, the feeling uh, at that time, how did you feel? Very, very deep question. Never. Actually, uh, when we were going to board the helicopters and attack Israel. We all felt like very light spirits, souls, very light, very light. You cannot feel pain, sorrow, uh, joyness, anything. We are uh, uh, light souls like angels going to heaven. That's what I felt and what I... And uh, crossing the Valiv line, how was it like on the day? Uh, I, I, uh, I attacked by helicopters. I've never seen the... No, not the feeling itself, to be indestructible and you can do it. And you did it as an Egyptian army. In the helicopters we were Enchanting, ya aghla ism fil. A very proud moment, uh, Dr. Ahmad Saleh, the historian. Thank you very much for being with us today on uh, Nile Cruise and, of course, on uh, such a very special occasion and a very special place, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much, Dr. Ahmad. Uh -huh. My pleasure and honor to record that mm -hmm. history for the other generations. We are not staying more than five, ten years, Hopefully and all will more. be gone. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Dear viewers, uh, stay with us. You're still watching Nile Cruise from the Museum of Late President Anwar Sadat. A very special episode celebrating victory and glory here in Egypt. We're all celebrating together. Stay with us and don't go away. We'll be back again.